Bunda. Ushawahi forgive kila mtu mwenye amekuwa offend kwa life yako tangu uzaliwe? Hiyo unforgiveness inaweza kwa ime affect life yako mpaka sasa hii. Wacha tungao. Hii kama K ni Super Sunday mwalimu zetu na chambo vitu mbili tatu za Biblos. Tumekuwa tukichangamkia series moja moto na mufti ya deliverance baba. Tunakaribia madhezo kukamalizia. Lakini mti yangu tumeangalia mtu kibao, tumeangalia history of witchcraft, history of wealth, ni nini nini unajua? Leo madhezo tutaka kuangalia history of offenses. Swali ni Kuna watu madhezo ndio wame to heart the deep. Na ukasema kwa life yako I will never forgive so and so. I will never forgive ama nimeforgive lakini sitaki kuguza yote ali ever. Swali ni hiyo story inaweza affect life yako mpaka sasa hivi. Buda mimi mzee John nilikuwa na social ka hiyo. Buda amenyuria, mother amenyuria, marela wametufanya mambo. Uchungu mzee jo imeingia. Unajia mzee hawa thisi taki kuwaona mimi. Sitaki kusikia story yote ya ocha mimi. Nime move on. Lakini join him Christo na jambia I have forgiven them. They better not have anything to do with them. God aka chillax tu. Siku moja God aka tuma wada akasema Buda. Kunole ankule wako waocha. Nataka umbaye suti. Umpeleke. Eh? Ati nimbaye suo pelewe ati iOS Mac. Unafika maana unaweza kujiambia aha get the behind me satan hii lazima ikwe ni shetani god amezungumza mara gapi god can pay instruction thrice ilinichukua 3 years ku obey instruction ya god 3 years niki struggle nikijiuliza huyu buda had deserve watana na suit hata bairo zile vitu ametufanyia wa deserve mti yangu mzee lakini god anakuambia nunua suti Enda na hata kuenda tu enda uambie umemsamehea. Buda ilikuwa ngori, nilipindi chukua best yangu nimeona niambie ndio hii shop ya suti. Wewe chagua suti jumii sisi chagua suti, na chagua the cheapest, the worst whatever. Boy wangu of course haku disappoint. Alichagua suti na mimi mwenyewe sijaiva. Bei iko huko. Nikatoa dona na uchungu nikalipa. Nikaingia ndai nikabeba hiyo suti nika drive mpaka wacha nikakalisha home zae nikamwambia mimi mazejo nimekama hapa tu je obedience ya god buda nimekaa kukupea hiyo suti na namba 2 nimekaa mkushoma mazejo mudi to heart vibaya lakini mimi kama mimi ni mwafugie mazee ujeskia maneno zimekushika ko yani unataka kusema ni mwaf ni mwaf ni mwaf po ni mwaf gigi mbaku na stama malufa iko stama i told kibuda how many years later ilikuwa hiyo mzee miaka kibao later lakini bado imenishikilia swali ilikuwa ni wewe ule mzee ujai forgive tangu mzee kuwe offended na kiwa tu kibao in affect aje life yako sahi hiyo kama neno ndio pastor steve jonathan mwangi anachangamka We are on chapter 11 of my book The 15 Questions About Your Deliverance. It's a book that will help you. It's what we use for our classes. And in this chapter, we are seeking to talk about the history of your offenses. Jesus said a very powerful thing that offenses will come, not maybe, but will come. <clears throat> but woe to the person through whom the offense comes and therefore we have to be ready for offenses as we are speaking right now you've probably been through very serious hurt you've probably had things done to you that you say it's impossible for me to forgive well i agree with you in the man's in man's nature and man's ability and strength it, there are things that are impossible to forgive but in Romans chapter 5 verse 5 the bible says 
that the Holy Spirit sheds abroad the love of God into our hearts. Just imagine if you had the ability to forgive like Jesus. What a world changer that would be if all of us could forgive the men who betrayed us, who gave false witnesses against us, who actually used religious authority to crucify us, who actually gave 18 different, um, uh, or made 18 different uh, breakages of the law to be able to put you on, on, on the cross, or forgive people who slapped you and told you to prophesy who slapped them because they blindfolded you, or they spat on you, and some of those people of those days had heavy spit, oh my goodness. Or they crowned you with a thorn crown, pressed it into your head until you're bleeding. Or they beat you with whips that had bones, teeth, and stuff like that in them that tore your flesh with every whip, whiplash. Or they took nails not to Jenga Nyumba Yambao, but to nail you to Ambao. And you, all you could say was, forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Imagine if the world was so forgiving like that, there would be no need for tanks and missiles and RPGs and machine guns. All this would be done with, done away with. Why? Because everybody would forgive everybody. It would be absolutely fantastic. I have stories in the Bible of a man like Job, who was left by his wife, but he forgave her. Who was uh, judged by his friends, but he forgave all of them. And when the Lord told him, pray for them, he prayed for them. Or like a man like Stephen, who, like Gormahia fans, was stoned and while he was being stoned he says do not lay this sin to their charge oh my god i want to be like some of these men i'm still trusting god to get to those levels and i admire and long for that quality in this class we are going to look at three levels of forgiveness we are going to explain from scripture how God can grace you with such power to overcome hate, to overcome bitterness, to overcome uh, prejudices that have been instilled in us by tribal hatred. <laughs> in this particular class, we are going to discuss how you can live the free life of being at peace with everyone. Psalms chapter 119 verse 165 says, Blessed is he, who meditates on the law of God day and night, for he will never be offended. Do you believe that is possible? Let me give you today's stories, powerful stories. One, a lecturer was listening to a lecture by a Muslim scholar who was challenging Christianity. And in this university hall, packed with students and lecturers and people of different backgrounds, he declared to all who are listening, Christianity is too hard, it's impossible, it's impractical, it cannot be livable at all. And one lecturer that I'm discussing now stood up and said, I am enjoying my Christianity. And the scholar said, come forward and I'll prove you wrong. And the lecturer, <coughs> a Caucasian man, went and this scholar took his hand back and summoned all his strength and gave the man a slap that I would call an everlasting slap that took him straight to the floor. And when he woke up, still dazed and seeing Masumuni, wondering what was that that hit him, the Muslim scholar told him, you know what, your Bible says, give me the other cheek that I may do the same thing. And the man in his dazed state turned and was ready to receive 
another mighty everlasting slap. But the, the scholar changed his mind and said, no, let me make it even sweeter. He said, give me your shirt. And the lecturer gave him his shirt. And then the scholar said, your Bible tells me I can also ask for your trouser and you should give it to me. And so he said, can you give me your trouser? And the old man turned to the people who were watching these strange events and said to them, please forgive me for what I'm about to do, but Christ would have me prove this man wrong. And so he went ahead and removed his trouser and remained in his underwear and vest. And once he did that, he felt so embarrassed standing there, he walked away to his office with deep shame as he walked away. But the scholar was astounded and the whole group was astounded at what had just happened. And while this lecturer was in his office crying and asking God, why did you allow things to go this way? And asking God, to give him grace and strength not to react in a negative way after all that had happened to him, there was a knock on the door. And when he opened the door, there was 98 Muslim students in a line, kneeling down, coming to apologize to this lecturer for what this Muslim scholar had done to him. And without preaching a message, this man's actions of forgiveness Actions of not taking offense won the hearts of 98 Muslim students to Christ. That's the power of forgiveness. You come to the class, there are many more stories. Oh my goodness, you can't miss it. Karibu sana. Sisemi kitu. Watu wa sameyane. At! Freddy Budabos! Kamake! Hey! Hey!